The topic of this lecture will be meso compounds. We've seen meso compounds before, we just haven't given them a name. A meso compound is an achiral compound that has chiral centers. Let's look at some examples. We will start with 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. The structure of this compound looks like this. Each of the carbons that have a bromine have the potential to be chiral centers because they are sp3 hybridized carbons that have four different groups on them. For example, we can put the top bromine coming out towards us and the bottom bromine going away from us. This is trans 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. This compound has a non-superimposable mirror image that looks like this. Because these are non-superimposable mirror images, they are enantiomers. Take a moment and pause the video and determine the absolute stereochemistry at each one of the chiral centers. Hopefully, what you've determined is that the structure on the left has two R centers, and the structure on the right has two S centers. Because they are mirror images of one another, the absolute stereochemistries on the left will be mirror images of the absolute stereochemistries on the right. Hence, both of the ones on the left are R, making both of the ones on the right have to be S. Now take a moment and pause the video and see if you can write the names for these two compounds. The structure on the left will be called 1R2R12-dibromocyclohexane. The structure on the right will be 1S2S. 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. Now let's consider cis-1,2-dibromocyclohexane. Now let's draw the mirror image of cis-1,2-dibromocyclohexane. These two mirrored images are superimposable, making cis-1,2-dibromocyclohexane achiral. We can also determ determine that they are achiral because they each contain an inter internal mirror plane of symmetry. However, even because even though they're achiral, they both contain two chiral centers. Take a moment to pause the video and determine the absolute stereochemistry at each of the chiral centers in cis-1,2-dibromocyclohexane. Hopefully you've determined that the top stereocenter is R and the bottom is S. This is an example of a compound that contains chiral centers but is not chiral itself. In other words, this is a meso compound. We name the meso compound by calling it meso 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. Due to its internal mirror plane of symmetry, a meso compound will always be RS or SR. Let's look at another example. Consider 2,3-dibromobutane. This molecule's stereochemistry is most easily considered when we draw it as a Fischer projection. There are four different ways that we can orient the groups on the two chiral carbons. We can put the bromine on the top carbon on the left and the bottom carbon on the right. And now we can draw this, the mirror image of this molecule. Or we can put both bromines on the left side. And then we can draw this molecule's mirror image with both bromines on the right side. Take a moment to determine the absolute stereochemistries of each of the chiral centers we've drawn. Hopefully you've determined that both of the stereocenters in the first structure are R. Both of the stereocenters in the next molecule are S, and that there is an R and an S stereocenter in each of the last two molecules. Now take a moment and determine if each of these molecules that we've drawn as Fischer projections is chiral or achiral. The first two structures are non-superimposable mirror images. They are enantiomers, and they are chiral. The second two structures are mere images of one another, but they are superimposable. Because they contain chiral centers, this is a meso compound. These molecules contain an internal mirror plane of symmetry and are achiral. This example also nicely illustrates what is called the 2n rule. A molecule with n stereocenters can have up to 2 to the n stereoisomers. It's important to realize that they can have up to 2N stereoisomers, because if there is some internal symmetry to the molecule, it will have less than 2 to the N stereoisomers. As we see in this case, this molecule has two stereocenters, so it can have up to four stereoisomers. But because of the symmetry in the molecule, it only has three. Let's look at another example. 2-bromo-3-chlorobutane, which looks like this. Because this molecule has two stereocenters, it can have up to four stereoisomers. 
Again, let's draw these as Fischer projections. We can draw both the bromine and the chlorine on the right side of the molecule, and we can draw its mirror image, or we can put one bromine on one side and the chlorine on the other, and we can draw this molecule's mirror image. Pause the video for a moment and determine first the absolute stereochemistries of each of the chiral centers we've drawn, and then determine whether or not these molecules are chiral. The first molecule is 2S3R. The second molecule, its mirror image, will be 2R3S. Both of the chiral centers in the third molecule are S, and both of the centers in the fourth molecule are R, and all four of these molecules are chiral. What we have here are two pairs of enantiomers, and the relationship of each of these molecules to the other molecules are diastereomers. In this case, there are 2N equals 4 stereocenters, and there are 4 stereoisomers, because there is no internal symmetry.